Well, I, I haven't tasted everything. I haven't been into the Medoc. I've tasted mainly on the right bank and, and now the Grave. I would say that it's a very good vintage. I mean, without you know hyping it up too much. I mean, at this stage of the game, because I haven't tasted everything, but it, it is clearly an excellent vintage, a very, very good vintage. Reds, and it seems to be whites, and probably Sauternes uh, 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 as well. So it's a good vintage, yes. The alcohol is clearly there. All the figures show that the alcohols are, are higher than they probably have ever been. We're looking at wines, um, um, sort of left bank wines that are 13 and a half, 14 plus, uh, right bank wines that are 14 and a half plus. Uh, the Grave, some of the Grave we've just tasted, even the Aubryon at Aubryon level and La Mission Aubryon, we're getting up to 14 and a half, even nearly 15. So alcohol is definitely there. What is extraordinary is that it's not perceivable uh, in terms of tasting, or it's less perceivable in terms of tasting, because in 2010 the acidity levels are really high. We're, we're looking at acidity levels that are the same as they were in 2008. Um, really good acidity, so that is helping to give balance. It's, I mean, it's curious, it's classic because of the, of, of the acidity, I would say. I wouldn't say it's less modern in style than 2009. 2009 had the opulence, a certain sort of suave opulence about the, about the wines, uh, whereas this year the acidities are definitely there and you really notice it, which is curious given the fact that they are rich, uh, sort of fairly powerful wines. So it, it's, cla it's a classical Bordeaux vintage, but with an extra bit of everything. I mean, extra colour, extra um, tannin levels, uh, good acidity, good to very good acidities, so, um, it, and, and of course the alcohol as well. So classic but, but taken, but wrenched up a, a, an extra degree because there's a bit more of everything. <laughs>